guys, this is Sharpria Shine. Welcome back to Max Out Girl. I am so excited and pumped up to be back because we have a special guest, Crystal Victoria. Yes, yes. Yeah, hey, girl. What's going on? Oh, what's going on, <laughs> girl? Girl, how are you feeling today? You know, I'm feeling fabulous. I'm so excited, first of all, to have you on. Like, guys, she is such a gem. We literally just <laughs> met last year, and I love her. It's so crazy how God does things. Like, yes. we met through Instagram through my husband. Yes. And it, it's so crazy. <laughs> and, I mean, she's just amazing, and I'm just so blessed to know her. So I have her on today because I just want her to share some nuggets. But before we get into that, yes. she is a speaker, a style influencer, brand ambassador, a minister, life coach, youth director, and the creator and host of Crowning Season on Dominion.tv. Man, she is maxing it out. <laughs> oh, my God, Crystal. Like, you are doing your thing. Thank so you. I just want to kind of point out what we really want to kind of share today about your love for fashion. Like, you are an influencer. Uh, yeah. You work with different brands. And then you also have created, and now you host your own millennial focused uh tv show mm -hmm. on crown that is crowning season on dominion.tv so yeah. first of all let's go back how did it start let's talk about this love for fashion because i absolutely adore fashion so i love yes, to you're like very stylish <laughs> thank you sis yes. coming from you i love it <laughs> <laughs> um so i really want to get dig like get deep and dirty into that like how did you start in that like did you start when you were young like give me that story well, I tell you, I tell this story right about my mom, and my mom is a master seamstress. Um, she, oh, yes, wow. she sells for a few luxury brands. Um, and she also also is an INC specialist, and she worked retail too on the side. And I used to just see her when I was in the first grade, and I would tell her to come to my school to eat lunch with me because she had this long, she would wear these long coats, pointed toes, boots, I mean, leather <laughs> skirts. And I loved how graceful she was. And I loved the attention that she got in the most graceful way, right? Yes. And I just watched the way she carried herself my entire life. And I was like, you know what? Like, I want to be just like that, which is odd because I was really, when I was in elementary school, I was actually a tomboy. Wow. So I don't know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I watched I watched her and I, I went I started in retail and that's another thing like whatever it is that anyone any dream you have if you got to start small start small yes start, start in retail or wherever it is start at the bottom and I promise you will climb your way up yes you know, I worked at a few stores and then BCBG is where it really took off for me then mm -hmm. I went um, to Dillard's right after that which is the same store they were leasing a space and after that, I became the lead stylist of Greenville Fashion Week. Um, I started doing a little bit of styling and, you know, and now I'm also the um, style consultant, the official style consultant for Dillard's Haywood. So that's wow. how I got started. Yes, just watching my mom and, and I had a passion for it. I have a passion for allowing people to be themselves and for kind of highlighting them their best selves from the outside I mean yeah from the inside out yes wow wow so like what was your first like do you remember like your first piece that you're like oh my god was it a purse like a pair of shoes like what was it do you remember that was like mm. oh my god like I'm so in love like <laughs> this is my thing I'm about to be like the fashion icon like okay, what okay. so <laughs> this, this is kind of this is kind of crazy because I know you're a shoe girl yes my, my mom's a shoe girl too but I'm really not a shoe or a bag girl. Okay. I, I but, but you know, it all goes into that. You know, I gotta have that along with yes. it. I do like it, but I love jackets and blazers. Okay. Oh my god, yes, they're I amazing. Love jackets and blazers. <laughs> uh -huh. and I love the show. Um, when I used to watch the nanny when I was younger. Oh, she was um, bomb, oh, right? God, oh jackets and blazers. Yes. I tell people Corella DeVille. Woo, yes, the amazing. <laughs> and I would see Listen, I would see Corella DeVille get up out that car with that mink <laughs> just dragging in the street. I was like, now nah, that's, I'm trying to do this in real life. <laughs> so a lot of times when I go to events and stuff um, that people hire me to come on as an influencer, I'm, I'm channeling my Corella DeVille because I'm usually wearing like a big coat burn around my neck something like that but yes probably definitely that yes oh my god that's so amazing I love it man that, that's amazing I would say kind of for me the same thing like it started when I was like so young my my grandmother mm -hmm. actually she was kind of like your mom has so much you know style and grace and class and that kind right. of trickled onto my mom and yeah I saw like her and I you know I had to like copy my mom it's so funny because she had this like 80s genuine leather hot pink 
<laughs> oh girl pink sock colors yes you know it she had this hot pink like pencil leather skirt and Ooh. she had the leather crop jacket with the puff sleeves girl I was in love I was oh like my I, gosh, I have to have this I have to have this and so girl I had it made like two years ago I had to have For it like real? yes because I was like I she she said she's gonna give it to I think she gave it to my sister my sister don't yeah, know where yeah, it's yeah. at girl I was like you should have kept that in the family honey like yes. she would have all these like pumps and all these things and like yes, I, I fell in love so it makes my, you feel yes. better Yes, it makes you feel like a million bucks. And I don't think some people get it. It's like, it's not a vanity yeah. thing. It's like, you yeah. just feel so amazing when you put, you know, Absolutely. makeup on, you get your hair uh, done. You just yeah. feel good. Like so, one, of, one of my go. little secrets is um, usually when I'm kind of feeling down, uh-huh. like that's when I, I go hard. Like, that's yes. when like, woo, I remember the girl that um, does, um, that I, I'm a brand ambassador for a hair, Ida Nagazi Alamein, and uh-huh. I was going out to this event or whatever. We changed my hair and everything. She said, "Ooh, sunshine, who made you mad? <laughs> <laughs> you need a little pick me up." Me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, that's secret. good. I feel like a part of maxing out in life too is just being whole in every every area of your life. And I think as women, we really have to focus on like self care, making ourselves feel good in healthy yes. ways. And I think that sometimes, especially if someone you know is has a super demanding career or is a mom or is a wife, you know, forget Absolutely. to take care of themselves. And I think yes. that's so essential yes. to you know just to having some some little extra joy, you know, yeah, in your life. You gotta, you gotta yes. take care of you. And I. Have- to, I had to learn that because I do a lot of things. Yes. And I had to figure out how to be happy in the process and continue and not just fall off and get unhappy. But it's it's important to have that balance. Yes. Like being in a relationship and doing all these things and, you know, just trying to make yourself feel better. I, I had to balance that. It can be tough, but don't ever forget about you. Don't yes. ever, ever forget about you. You can't. No, no, don't neglect yourself. Exactly. That's some amazing advice. I think it's so important. And I think we cannot underestimate the power of a new pair of pumps or putting on yes. some lipstick or <laughs> look, straightening your hair or putting on that dress Absolutely. that you know it's adorable. Like I just you're right. There is power and just, you know, making yourself look the part, you know. Yes. And that doesn't mean that we don't have our, you know, our uh because right now I'm like relaxing. I got on like my hoodie and my sweatpants. <laughs> like it's nothing wrong with that either. Like, you know. Yeah. But I just think it is some power and you know, just just dolling yourself up, getting all glammed up and, and you know, going out and say, Oh my god, like I look amazing. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Yes, it makes you feel a lot better. That's for sure. Yes, you gotta encourage your own <laughs> self. Look in that mirror. Yes, yes honey. <laughs> So let's talk about your show because it is such an amazing show. Uh, everybody, if you haven't checked it out, you have to. It's called Crowning Season. It's on Dominion.tv. Yeah. And so how did that come along? You explain it as like a millennial focused show. So mm-hmm. is that kind of dig a little bit deeper into your show, what it's about and who you have on? Okay. So Crowning Season is a Christian based millennial talk show. And I uh-huh. do say millennials, but it's for everyone. But it's kind of my demographic it's pretty much millennial. So that's why I kind of put that there. Um, basically we talk about everything across the board. Um, okay. for my life, um, God is the center first yeah, and everything else is kind of surrounded around that. So I wanted to have a platform where I could share his message along with everyday, um, problems, activities, all those types of things. So we talk about health, wealth, finances, um, we talk about domestic fitness, um, hair, beauty, prayer. Uh, we talk about love, we fashion, about that, fashion. <laughs> yes, everything. And it comes on every weekend, um, every Saturday and Sunday on Dominion TV. But I just recorded my last episode until the fall. Okay. Uh, so this week is my um, coming up here is my my last episode is coming up, and I will come back in the fall. But I'm not sure. It may be to me and TV. It may not. I have a lot of, a lot of offers on the table. So wow. We'll, well, congratulations. I'm very <laughs> excited to like hear, you know, what you're going to be doing in the future and to see it because you're just a yeah. shining star. So I just think that's amazing. Congrats. Yeah, I love it. Like when, like when you came, when you don't like, I, a lot of, a lot of the time, half, over half my guests, I don't really know in person. Yeah. And I met them via social media or, you know, they hit me up, they email me, things like that. So I'll just use yours as an example. We didn't know each other personally, but as soon as I saw you, I felt like we were friends. And when yes. I sat down with you, it was just a great environment. Then we talked about singleness and Max, and I love how you use Max out. It's like one of my favorite things. Max, how <laughs> your singleness? Yes. 
um, with my friend Takea. Just a really good conversation because I think it's important for us to have these alternatives. Yes. Now, I like to watch a little bit of ratchet TV sometimes, <laughs> but <laughs> but you really have to be careful of what you continue to put in your eye gate. And yes. you just want to make sure that everything that you see in here, most of everything is a reflection of you and where you want to go. So I want to give these alternatives and help the millennials be motivated to get up out of what they're in like no we are not going to be mediocre take it to the next yes, level with yes. God on your side we have heaven's resources mm-hmm. why are you just going to sit here in this job every day that you hate for the rest of your life now, oh my god or why I love you in this relationship where he clearly don't care about you exactly wow you know, that's, so that's awesome a- that's what trying to see is about to me yes yes guys so yes i was on there and we had an amazing time and it's so important to network and to get your name out there and talk to people because like she said like it was instant love at first sight like i saw it i'm like (laughs) oh my god like she loves fashion like I, i mean it was so much fun and I was so excited to be on there to share, like you said, about the Single and Satisfied movement and my book, Single and Satisfied. And it was just an amazing time. I love that. Yes, yes. You have a great movement going on. Thank you so so much. Yeah. So thank you for sharing all the things that you shared. I love that. Of course. So (laughs) let's talk about how did you get into the show? Like, oh, I'm um, sorry. You did say that. I'm sorry. Oh, no. You got to keep me on track. (laughs) Um, Okay. So here's the thing. When I was I wanted to actually be, when I was younger, a sports analyst. Oh, wow. Okay. Yes. Because uh, I love sports, um, mostly professional. So I always want to be on ESPN. I always want to be a sports analyst. Um, I love to see them talk junk. I love, I used to love to talk junk <laughs> about my team, even if we was losing, you know. Oh, what sports did you play? Or or do you mean teams that you loved? The teams that I loved. So, okay, gotcha. Um, yeah, so NBA is Lakers, you know, RIP to the real OG. So <laughs> yes, he, yes. Yeah. And Dallas my husband Cowboys. loves him, like yes. adores him. Yes. Yes. And Dallas Cowboys. So that's what I wanted to do. But then after I, it's so crazy because I went through these things and these experiences in my life. Right. Mm-hmm. I told a story about when I was in this relationship for six years, it was, hmm. Yeah, I don't want to beat nobody down because he cooled down, but it was awful. Like I was just yeah. so bad. The truth yeah. is the truth. Yeah. I was pretty terrible. And I just would question, like, I would sit in my room, I would write, I'm like, God, you always, I hear people say, you don't put us through these things for no reason. What's my why? Like, I just never got it. I continue to go through, I continue to go through. And once that offer came, um, once that opportunity came, I understood it was after that, though, you know, after it already had gone. Once I finally, and here is some advice, kings (laughs) and queens, when you let go, of what you were never supposed to be in in the first place. Come on. And when you let go of those that toxic energy and those toxic friends and the things that you feel like is so near and dear to you, but it ain't grown the whole time you was in it, God will elevate your life. Yes. And I tell you, when I finally let go, because we have been broken up for about a year or two, maybe, maybe more than that. And wow. Stuff wasn't still happening because yeah. I didn't let him go in my heart. Mm-hmm. But when I released it in my heart, all these things came. Oh, Crystal, God said, Crystal, you're ready. Yeah. I can trust you here. I can trust you there. Now you're going to be able to help other people go through what similar things that you went through. It's like God was holding on to his promise. So now when I go through things, I'm, I get sad, especially when it comes to like, I'm a strong person, but when it comes to like love, I'm like a, you know. I know I'm what a, you mean. No, I, I get it. Like a <laughs> yeah, I get it. It's okay. You know, this we all got that other though. side. We all got the other side to us. And that's right. okay. This you know. one person though. And it's just called being vulnerable. And I don't think, I think that's, that's a great thing that, because I'm yeah. the same way. I'm a very strong woman, but when it comes to love, I'm vulnerable in that area to my I'm husband, you vulnerable. know? Yeah. Yes. I'm very vulnerable. And once I let, I mean, I'm telling you, it's just like, God just busted open the heavens and things started <laughs> raining down. And I was just sitting like, oh, so when things happen now, I can get sad about it. But I, I'm like, God, you know what? I know what's on the other side of this because I've seen you work before. Yes. I had to let go of those toxic things, not only in my mind, but in my heart. And I, I, I just believe in manifestation and whatever it is. I, whatever it is that you want. I had someone in my church tell me six weeks before um, crowning season came about. He was like, I see you having your old TV show. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? Because <laughs> I like to talk. Sure. Okay. <laughs> but that's amazing but what I you're saying. Yeah. Because I, I feel like um, 
I feel like sometimes we're so afraid to let go of something because we think we need it or we want it so bad or we're afraid to let go because we don't know what's coming next. But man, God is so sovereign and he loves us. Woo, like if he want, if he's telling you to let something go, so y'all let it go because let he has something so much better Woo, for you. But sometimes we can't again. see it. So we just get so, you know, attached and depressed about something. It's like, man, God is trying to bless your life. You got to just right. take courage and just do it. And I've been there, done that. You know, you kind of heard my story on your show. And yeah. it's like, I've had to let go of a relationship that was t- trying to take me out of here. And yeah. it's like, when I did that and got to the point where I'm like, Lord, I only want you. I'm going to max out in my singleness and love myself first. Girl. <laughs> my life started blooming, baby. <laughs> I had to clap, clap, clap. <laughs> yes. You know, I'm yes. kind of I'm kind of currently fresh out of a breakup. Okay. A little bit. And I think that it's really just because the other person has a lot of things to, you know, get together for themselves. I believe yeah. so anyway. Uh-huh. But this time was different for me because I just told myself, I'm like, I'm not going back to yes. where I went the first time. Yep. I know I have been here before, so I know my way out. That does not mean I don't care about the person. And you know, this I know when everybody hears this, they're going to be like, Chris, we, we didn't know you had no, <laughs> we, you didn't tell us about this person because I wasn't ready yet. You know, yeah, you, I understand. You want to be sure. Yeah, because, of course. You know, and, and if I introduce somebody to my family, only yeah. one person's ever met my family, my, all of that. And once I introduce to my family and my church family. Yeah. My, um, Look, it's time to get married then. It's real. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I understand. This time I said, you know what, God? I, it, it's got to be different this time. Yeah, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna sit around and cry. I gotta yep. continue. And I'm like, my dad says this thing that I love. He says when things aren't going right, if you're feeling down, make love to your gift. Yeah, and that's absolutely what I did. Absolutely. Yep. And it, even though for any girl out there, I know V Day is coming up. You know, yep. Valentine's. And if you're single or any guys, if you're single and you're feeling a little bit discouraged, don't be. Just know yep. that God is preparing the best for the best. Okay? Yes. And, and enjoy you your gift. life in enjoy the season. Enjoy your life. Okay. Do that. And make love to your gift and make that time productive time. Don't sit around crying. Yeah. Not for that. And you know what? You make some great points because that's how I became single and satisfied. Like yes. I just started focusing on my gifts, my talents, my abilities. And I just started writing and blogging and yes. singing and dancing yes. and doing productions and, you know, ministering. And before I knew it, I didn't care about being single. See? I didn't care less. Like I was yeah, so whole and thing. fulfilled. Yes. I was like, I don't care. I was like, right. I understand. It, you know, I went, and I had to go through the season though of hurt and pain and regret and loneliness. I get all that. But yeah. I just kept pushing and I kept going and I kept, like you said, making love to my gift, like going out there and, and just when I'm feeling sad, I'm like, I know somebody else is feeling like this. So I'm gonna help somebody else. Like I really had right. to get out of myself Yes, and stop absolutely. focusing on me, me, me so much as far yes. as I don't have a man. And it's like, yeah, me, me, me. What does God want me to do in this season of right. being single? And it was great. Like, I love my single season and I do not regret it. And I encourage any single woman or man to max out in your single season. Max if you out. don't, you'll look up married and your responsibilities change, life changes, and you'll be like, dang. <laughs> you know, yes, I, and like, I didn't down. even, you'll be like, I didn't even do XYZ. I could have had what? all this done. Okay. I remember, Shabri, and you know what? I don't talk to a lot of people that agree with me on this. And so I remember talking to you about it. And before we started, before we started rolling, I was just like, yeah, everybody want me to be married. But, you know, I'm not, you know, good Lord, I'm not ready yet. You yeah. Know? It's not that I'm not ready to settle down. I mean, I, I can absolutely do that. But there's some more things that I want to do. And who who is to say that that's the end all be all? Exactly. Like, you know, yes. People gotta, y'all got to stop listening to everybody else. that yes. Having their own life. That has their own family, their career. This is your life. It's your life. It's your life. And you look, you are the captain of this ship. Yes. And you can drive it in any direction and do what makes you happy. And don't yes. feel like you have to do something because everybody else is. God has prepared. He's preparing you. I had to learn that for myself. And I just take it at my own pace. I, I do. And I and I love the life I live now. I do. I absolutely do. I'm happy. Yes. Um, unlike before. And that's this, awesome. This one wasn't a bad one, though. And it, it may not, like, be, like, you know, it's not, like, a bad thing. But I knew that I had to continue to build myself. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's really good. Because so many people, I think, just get focused. Like you said, in this breakup, you were just like, okay, I'm not going to let it destroy me this time. I've learned from last time. You know, I got to right. keep on pushing yeah. it. I think that's growth. 
And it yeah. shows you're not going to let your whole world fall apart because somebody decides to leave or it just doesn't work out. And right. I think that that's the amazing part because that happened to me again, you know, when I got in a relationship and then it just, it tried to destroy me. And I'm like, no, nah, I've been through worse. I'm moving on. <laughs> you, you know what? I never exactly. I, I think I'm pretty sure it was Bishop Noel. I think so. He was like, a lot of people want to be needed. Um, in a relationship yeah so you don't want to be needed you want to be appreciated yeah because yeah. if you're trying to be needed in a relationship that means that they can stop needing you at any moment mm-hmm. and, and also gonna that's gonna put feel that need. so much pressure on a person like mm-hmm. like I'm married I'm newly married now and it's like if I really you know put all my needs and desire like everything to fulfill me from and my husband oh he'd be stressed out he can't do that <laughs> he not God like, yeah and I had to learn that even as a wife like when stuff's going on with him I can't always fulfill everything yeah <laughs> sometimes I just gotta go pray and love <laughs> on him but that's that's about it but but I think that you know you make some great points and I'm so glad that you're in the season of being single and satisfied and maxing out your life and I just want to encourage any single like being married yes. don't have to be the end-all be-all like yes. who's to say that that is, that is? and I've always Ooh. disliked that when I was single and I always encourage single people to just love where you are now I know it sounds like cliche or it may be tough yes. but I'm I've been on both sides and I'm like love where what? you are now like I'm happily married my husband is so amazing God bless me with him and I'm really enjoying this season but I'm yes. so grateful that I enjoy my single season and I yes. worked on me and I worked yes. on my gifts, my abilities. I did certain things. I go back to school. I wrote a book, different things that I wanted to accomplish. Yes, absolutely. And that's, and I'm not just saying this because this is your podcast and you're on the phone and you my sis. I'm saying this because there is literally no one doing that. Wow. I feel that way, but there is no one out here that gives that message in the way that you do, because especially as believers, yeah, we put that in the box like when you see somebody, oh Lord, you didn't get married yet. Yes, oh, right, where, the, where the kids at? Where the kids at? Yes, I mean, but with you, I I finally found someone that that um shares the same message that I believe in, and it's just like just hold up, yes. live your life first, live yes, your life first, and then you can do those things. Yes, and a lot of times, a lot of people, you know, I'm a life coach too. A lot of people, they ain't got no business even getting. I'm like, oh, my girl, gosh, speak like, on it, girl. Work on you. <laughs> yes. You got to work. You got to build yourself up first. OK. And yes. Then, I don't care if it was your uncle, your auntie. Don't let everybody hook you up. Girl, speak on it. OK. We don't want nobody's leftovers. Mm-hmm. OK. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah, thanks, but no thanks. Yes. And a lot of times, no you know, a lot of times, too they're selfishly trying to hook you up they know you're a good thing and then they're gonna try to hook you up with a no good nephew just because oh, they wanted to right? have a good wife exactly. that's happened so many times and I'm like wow so definitely you're right man you really and I'm not against people getting married younger and all this but you got to make sure you know that that you're that you are not doing it out of desperation loneliness yeah. because of you know society societal pressures or church pressures or mm. your mama pressures you got to make sure it's God and that, and that this is a commitment you ready to do this the rest of your life because that's the thing people want a wedding but they don't want to prepare for the marriage they don't want a marriage yeah yes my parents just celebrate their 37th wedding anniversary wow it's amazing and i'm like (laughs) whoo Oh, wait. Y'all really out here doing the thing. Yeah, yeah. That, that's my model, and I have a good model. And, and, and some people are not, aren't as blessed to have that model in that way, but you yes. have to find it within somewhere. Yes. You got to get connected into a ministry. You got to connect to stuff around like minded individuals. Yes. You have to, because if not, just like you said, oh, y'all gonna want that cute wedding. But yep. the week after that, oh God! And let me tell you, it goes so fast. It goes oh, fast. Oh, and it went so fast. I'm like, what? Like it's six months now. What? 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 It's gone. <laughs> now it's, look, oh look. Now God. it's time to cook and do laundry. Okay. <laughs> no, but that's, I got way off topic. I'm sorry. Oh, oh no, no, no. That's girl. That's what we oh, do yeah. on here. You know, because you know we sisters, and we know you know we've been talking about this single thing, and it's something that. We gotta you know, help somebody. Yeah, we, we gotta, gotta talk. Up. Exactly. We gotta talk about it because it is such an epidemic. I'm just uh-huh. telling you. That's why I started the movement because so many people, especially in church, they feel pressured to be married to be with somebody or they feel like a leper because they're not. And I've been there. Like I've been yeah. to a church where literally everybody was married and it was like nothing for single people, no oh. regards to single people. I just felt like so like something was wrong with me. And it's like, no, 
God has purpose for singles as well. Yes, he does. And yes, I'm like, if people don't believe that, they just need to read their Bibles. Oh, and they need on, to man. recognize that, you know, one is not better than the other. Yeah. <laughs> so, I mean, we do have a choice in it. However, you know, we have to make sure that we're hearing the voice of God as well. and being led. But I believe he'll give you the desires of your heart as the word yes. says. So if that's what someone desires, they can have that absolutely but also they don't I think what people do is they want to rush it in their time and that's all that I push is like please don't just lower your standards or marry somebody out of desperation I see too many women do that and then later they're they're unhappily married yes like (laughs) stop it and let let me say another thing girl stop trying to stop going out with people just because you're hungry girl do you know i see that all the time <laughs> and i've heard it and i looked at the girl like you Y'all got to be kidding me going out for the grant and then a lot of sis a lot of them going on some, on these trips and we need i want to know who's behind girl that what you mean I'm oh trying see, i'm trying to see who's behind that couch oh my god you hilarious well oh, yeah and they do it and for me i had to just tell myself i am not desperate um, what? I would not be going out with no man because I need a meal. I got a job. Take myself out. <laughs> Go oh, out with my girlfriends. I and, know that's right. Yeah, and here's the thing. Like, I think people think that's cute. Okay, they're like, I ain't, you know, it ain't no harm, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. But if your intentions ain't right, it is harm. First of all, people get themselves in trouble, end up getting attacked or something. You got to be careful because <laughs> some of these men ain't playing with you, you know, and, yeah. and you know, you're trying to be a user and it's like, that That ain't cool. I think if girls, your intentions are really pure of trying to get to know them, that's one thing. But if you just like, because I've seen girls do it, uh, right. I need to go out. I'm who can I go out? You using them? It's like, girl. Yes. I had I have had so many men, and I just want to say this because I don't want the last person who I wasn't able to make it to this um dinner meeting. We were supposed to go to the coffee place. So if you listen, if you listen to this, I'm not talking about you. I don't think that about <laughs> you. I gotta go ahead and say that. Yeah. Um, but a lot of times I had to stop taking these meetings, right? Yeah. Because and it. At first, I know who I am and I know whose I am. Yeah. So something another man could tell me about, oh, my God. Oh, I've been, one guy was like, I just dreamed of the day to meet you in person. Wow. Oh, my God. I just, I know who I am. So that don't, in my day, it don't phase you. Since I was little, it don't mean nothing. Yeah. But I had to stop taking these meetings, um, quote, unquote, because they would, they turned left quick. Yes, they time. will. Yep. And so now, from now on, I don't care what it is. If I feel like it's some type of meeting, I take my friend girl, um, shout out to um, Bray, Bray, Braylon, Beyonce, I call her, because she, be, she comes with me. She understands. Yeah. And I don't want to get caught up in that, because once you get there, it's just like, Oh yeah, you know, I was thinking, you know, maybe we should just, you know, just take. Yeah, you, you gotta so use women, wisdom. Yes, women know who you are first because yes. it, won't nobody be able to tell you nothing about yourself that you ain't heard before. Yes, don't fall yep. for that. Don't that's the thing that. yeah you got to love yourself and know that you look good that's why you got to get yourself dressed up and look in the mirror and say man i'm fine i look okay. good because that's then you ain't gonna be tripping when a man said it's like i already know boo i know i'm what? the prize i know i'm, I'm not- the virtuous woman the words say i'm the good thing so i already right. know it's okay. like you ain't told me nothing you better so- start caring yourself as such and the guy the in the situation that i was the, well, the guy i was telling you about a little bit earlier it took it took us um a good three years to even get on a a strong Texan basis. Wow. Lady, I'm going to start caring, caring yourself. And he was so patient. And I, and I appreciate it. But they yeah. start caring themselves a little bit better. Yeah, I And understand. balance your work life, love life, and all that. You know, you yes. have to be able to balance it. Be yourself through it. Man, that's some amazing advice. So before we get off of here real quick. Oh, Lord, I done talked it all the way up. Oh, girl, girl. no, that is okay. Because I love when, you know, we just have a natural (laughs) flow of conversation because, you know, it's in our heart to share. So no problem with that. So just share. um, What are some things that's in the fire for you right now? So you're doing the talk show. Mm -hmm. Um, What are some other things related to fashion that you're working on that you're doing? Yeah. Okay. So Greenville Fashion Week is coming up at the end of April. So okay. make sure you go to GreenvilleFashionWeek.com. Um, get your tickets. It's so bomb, y'all. We have after parties every um after every night. Um, I'm over I'm the lead wardrobe stylist for all styling for everything. We we have like a little bit, maybe a little bit over 300 models. Um, I mean, it's just so it's just everything. I have that coming up. Um, every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. at the Kingdom Center in Greer, South Carolina. I do our millennial and Gen Z class. We merge them together. Sometimes we separate them. 
Um, we talk about real um, life things. I'm still writing. Um, crown and season. I'm trying to figure out being praying and asking God where I'm going to take it or if I'm going to leave it there. I just have a lot of offers. Um, doing a lot of things with Dillard. So I'm working on a few events. It's so many things. <laughs> wow. So where can they find you oh, so they and, can keep up with you? And I got to say this. I, I didn't mention this. I got to shout out InSouth Magazine. I'm a writer for InSouth Magazine. Awesome. So I have my own fashion column. I call myself um, the 10 Perry Bradshaw. <laughs> so I have, <laughs> I have my own column and I get to talk about um, fashion and everything. But you can find me on Instagram which is she's S-H-E-S underscore Crystal Victoria. And you can find me at Crystal Victoria on Facebook. And I am currently working on my app. So, you know, look out awesome. for that. That's coming soon. So excited. So, guys, check her out. Follow her. She's going to be doing some great things. You don't want to miss it. You want to listen to her show. Check out her column if you're into fashion. But we hope that we said something that encouraged, inspired, and elevated your thinking. And don't forget, max out, girl. So, max remember... Out. Go to Shabria Shine and check me out, Shabria.com. If you're single, join our Single and Satisfied movement on Facebook and go to Shabria.com for courses, resources, and other amazing surprises that's coming up. Oh, I'm so excited. Also, don't want to forget that we are going to be doing our Valentine's Day annual challenge, the seven-day Single and Satisfied Challenge. I'm so excited about that. Hey, That'll man. be starting that first week in February. No, the right. second week. I'm sorry. Second week. Because we're going to top it off on Valentine's Day and the day after. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> so that. go ahead and check it out. Also, don't forget to get Single and Satisfied, the Single Woman's Guide to Fulfillment, all at Sharpria.com. So again, right. this is Crystal Victoria. Whoop, whoop. Yes. I had a great time, girl. <laughs> Thank you, girl. And this is Sharpria Shine. And we will see you next time. Bye. Yeah.